What do you need to know if you want to buy a used vehicle? Well, Supercars is bringing you the right person to give you those tips that you need to be aware of. He's an avid car enthusiast, has been driving for over 10 years. His name is Samuel Nettison. What's up? Tyler, you're going to show me what to look for if I want to buy a used car. All right, so okay, over to you. Thank you very much, Governor. Okay, so for starters, we check the history of the car. Okay. Go around it and look for dents, rust, anything that is out of place. Anything okay. unusual. Maybe there are gaps here, you know, from here to here, it should be given. The gaps should be given. Okay, so somewhere we're, we're going to go inside the vehicle now. What do we look for inside the car? We check for anything that's out of place, like the, check the buttons. Check the dashboard, check the seats. Okay. Look for cracks and uh, where it's in. And then you also feel the floor of the car. What are you looking for? Looking for soft spots. Mm -hmm. There's a soft spot to be rusty. Oh, I never knew that. Uh -huh. So you look for soft spots. Soft spot. It should be hard all over. Ah. Mm -hmm. okay. And also, you also look for watermarks. Flat cars? Yes. You don't want a flat car? No way. <laughs> that car will mess you up. Louisiana. I remember Louisiana, <laughs> man. <laughs> so you look for those things. Okay. You look for those things. If it's okay, you move on to the back seat. Okay. Same thing we're looking for. So we're touching the, the ground? Touch the ground. Okay. Mm -hmm. Looking for soft spots. Soft spots. And maybe and patches of water? Yeah, and water marks. Water marks. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then you check the seat. Mm -hmm. Everything looks clean, squeaky. Mm -hmm. This is a really nice car. This, this is a nice car. I love it. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. so what are we looking for here? Same thing. The, the soft spots again? Soft spots. But here, especially the watermarks. Okay. Mm. And then we also look for dents. Okay. If there's a, there has been a real collision. Mm. If somebody has hit, hit in the, from back the back of the car, we should feel some impact. We should feel something. Okay. Then, let me see here. Look inside. We should look inside. Okay. Especially this part. Okay. Uh, if there's any damage, you should be able to see it. Yes. Okay. Along this side. Ah, because that will feel that that will be will have the force of the impact. Exactly. Okay. And then the mechanics, they may not be able to put this back into shape. Ah. Uh -huh. So in a hurry to buy the car, if you don't check, you, don't you may check. go buy a car. Yeah. Yes. That's exactly. true. They also check for leakages here. Okay. Usually the water collects. If there's a leakage, the water will collect here. Mm. So you have to check. Rust. Rusting. Water. Everything, anything okay. unusual, you have to check. Okay. All right. Yes. So we're also looking for oil leakages, uh -huh. patches, uh, cracks, and then rust. Right. Yes. Okay. So far, everything looks good here. It does look good. Yeah. It does look good. Yeah. Okay. It's fine. Nice. Just come. <laughs> so yes, we are looking for rust okay. and oil leakages. have a torch light, you shine the light through here mm -hmm. and look for anything that is rusty mm -hmm. or that has oil on it. If there's oil on it, that means there's a leakage. So everything here must be dry. So we are listening to any visual sound of the engine. So, so the engine must sound like this. No high pitch sound, no low pitch sound. And it, everything should feel like this one. And then as the engine is running, we keep looking for the leakages. If there's an oil leakage somewhere here, or on any of the components here, you should see it. All oh, the buttons are okay, and there are no warning signs on the dashboard. Mm. So far, the only warning sign I see is low fuel. That's okay. Because it's in the in, in the car in the garage. Yes. So we test for the AC, put it on. And see if it's working. Mm -hmm. I feel the cold air. It's working. And you check the radio. Check the battery. Check everything. So far it's good. Then you have to also check the lights. So you turn on the lights. You can check the Yes. Once this is on, it means the light is working. Good. The headlight is working. So everything is fine. Let me go and check. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Come on. Yes. Traffic Traffic Hazard. 
Yep. Like high, low. High, low. High, low. Lights are working. Yes, it's on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If it reverses, please put it on reverse and let's see. Yep, it's working. Okay. Yep. Good. Yeah, but the mileage is that sometimes you can roll it back. So if you focus on the mileage too much, you may pass over a really good car. So you don't really focus on the mileage so much. It could also be that the engine was changed before it was brought here. With that one, you cannot do anything about the mileage. The mileage will look high or low. The engine has been changed. So you never you can never tell the true picture. And that's our show. So now you know a little bit more about Erato Motors, what they do, and what to look out for when you want to buy a second-hand car. Follow us on social media. And thank you for watching. My name is Kafri Day, and this has been Supercars.